Young, but so far the Magicians Fall sports teams are combined 15-2-1, proving once again that the MHS Fall programs are comprised of some of the best athletes in the Northeast Conference. Let's start on the links this week with scores from the 3-1 golf team. They picked up two wins, first on the 10th against Saugus 43.5 to 28.5, and then on the 16th against the Big Blue 38 to 34 with match wins from Owen Pecorello and Josh Tassinari. The boys' soccer team is rolling early on this season. They're 3-0 in conference and 3-0-1 overall. On September 10th, the boys won their home game against Gloucester 2-1 with goals from Will Gaddis and Nate Fainzelberg. Then on the 16th, the guys destroyed the Winthrop Vikings 7-0. It was only 2-0 at halftime, so Winthrop may have thought they actually stood a chance. But in the second half, four different magicians, including Captain Will Gaddis and junior Michael Conlin, who accounted for two goals apiece, were able to beat the keeper for five more goals and the win. Freshman goalie Joey Ferrucci recorded the shutout in that one. The girls' volleyball team won in front, in front of a crazed Salem High School crowd on September 10th, three games to one, thanks to eight kills from Eve Rice, nine kills from Jenny Norcross, and 28 assists from Emma Bushman. And they continued their hot streak in their first two games in their home opener against Winthrop on the 16th, but let Winthrop take games three and four before Marblehead closed the door on the Vikings for good in the decisive fifth game. Ali Capole was getting diggy with it all night, finishing with 15 diglets to go along with three aces and five kills. Emma Bushman was also a presence on the court with 25 assists, and Eve Rice was a monster at the net with six blocks, including one that clinched the victory for the Magicians. This match was covered by MHTV and will be brought to you by our community partner, National Grand Bank, on Monday, September 21st at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday, September 26th at 1 p.m. right here on MHTV. The girls' soccer team has started the season 3-0 and sits in first place in the NEC where they hope to stay all season long. The girls got things going at Gloucester and hooked the Fishermen for, for seven goals in a 7-0 blowout. Next up was Linfield, an out-of-conference and tougher opponent, but the magic was still happening and the girls squeaked out a 2-1 win. Then back to the in-conference play at home against Winthrop for another 7-0 shutout. On the 11th, the Magicians football team, with a new core group of guys, lost game one of the fall to Walpole 19-14. QB Garrett Keough ran for a three-yard touchdown and hit Liam Coughlin for a 34-yard TD pass for the two Marblehead scores. The field hockey team is 2-1 through three games, getting both of their wins this week. First against Peabody in a barn burner, 1-0, and then they smashed Revere 6-0 in Revere. The girls have only allowed one goal this season in their 1-0 loss last week. The boys' cross-country team upset fellow NEC powerhouse Peabody in their true opening meet 24-34. A.J. Ernst led the Magicians, finishing second with a time of 14 minutes and 56 seconds. And the girls' cross-country team kept stride with their schoolmates and also upset Peabody in Tannerville by a similar score, 24-33. Sarah Oliver led the way in front of everybody and finished first for the girls, clocking in at 17.36. That's all today for Headliner Sports. I'm Jess Burton. Take us home, John. All right, and that concludes this week's Headliner. I'm John Caswell. On behalf of the entire news team here at MHTV, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.